Hey everybody, NecroVMX here, and we're playing Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen, and look at what I did. I got myself to level 8, it didn't take that long, uh, but I also, um, that was mostly, I got the Cautery Sword, basically. I spent a few minutes on Fast Forward, grinding out, trying to get somebody to sell me a Cautery Sword, eventually somebody did, and then I had to save up the 3500 gold to buy it, and I just bought it. So, um, yeah, uh, so Cautery Sword, Iron Shield, Iron Apron, and Hardwood Headwear still. And I also got a new spell. Well, I have two new spells, Eye for Distance and Nose for Treasure. Eye for Distance is, is kind of stupid. It just kind of tells you when you're on the world map, like, where a town might be. But if you're like me and you already kind of know the map, not that big of a deal. Nose for Treasure um, tells you how many treasures on a floor, I think. But once again, not really going to need that. But it is there. There's a hair on the microphone. I'm just going to remove that. Okay. Sorry, guys, had to hear that hair. <laughs> well, anyway. Let's go after that golden statue thing. Because we're going to need um, a whole bunch of money. Well, actually, one thing that we're going to do before we even do that... Um, oh, what did I get? Copper sword, all right. Is we're going to talk to the king of Endor, because now that um, they're going to have the wedding and everything, I think he's going to let me get myself a shop there, which is the whole goal. Chapter doesn't end until you buy the shop. But there's a, you know, and then of course they're saving up the money for the shop and all that shit, because you have to buy it from the previous owner. I'll just stop in the end. Actually, you know what? Since there's usually a lot of people in the pub here at night, I might as well talk to them. Princess Elena was just amazing in the tourney. The way she fought it was spectacular. Maybe I should start learning some weapon skills. You need a special permit to set up shop here, you know, from King Norman. And the town's pretty much got all the shops it needs already. I don't imagine it'd be easy to get permission. You what? You came here to Endor to... Oh, I already talked to the guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's here all the time. I guess he's just a drunkard. All right, let's go talk to uh, Norman the Nerd. Actually, I want to stay at the end. He's probably not going to let me in the castle at night. So we got to talk to Norman the Nerd. Let's do that. Ah, Mr. Taloon, welcome back. I have already received a reply from Bally Morrill. It's good news, and largely thanks to you. As promised, I hereby grant you permission to open a shop in Endor. Alright, now let's go talk to the guy that owns the shop. Let's buy it from him. I mean, I'm not going to be able to right now because I have a total of 32 gold pieces right now, but selling that statue is going to be a big part of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Blah, blah, blah. We heard all this already. Here we go. How about it, then? I'll sell it to you for 35,000 gold coins. What do you say? Not just yet. Sorry, is that a no? Ah, my dreams of retirement dash once again. So we need 35,000 gold coins. That seems like it would take forever. But that statue, that fetches a good price. So we're going to go after that. So let's see. We can go across here. I'm going to go up this way. That's not the cave. We'll have to do something with that cave, but... Go up here first. Hill slime. I also, uh, you might notice I have two iron armors now. I only had one before. I'm hanging on to those, obviously. You, any iron armors or I think broadswords, you want to hold on to them. Did I go down here first? Or, uh... Oh, yeah, there's nothing to do there. Okay. You spent a good amount of time on the raft here. We got Spidey Punk and Elipus, and a vampire bat who is confused. Let's try and take out this Elipus first. Elipus, mixture of an octopus and a uh, octopus and uh, elephant. So there you go. That's he's returned to his senses, and now he's dead. Copper sword. All right. He had a moment of clarity before he died. <coughs> Sploosh. Sploosh. Guys, you had any good sploosh happen? I'm going to be leaving that behind here. Or an elipus and a lugworm. It really can't touch me at this point. And I'm pretty much way more powerful because I got that cautery sword. 
Got a scale shield. Okay. Let's get this. Okay, narrow wing. Okay. Now, just what in the devil is up with this cave? Just making a ride of man anatomy. I can't make away with the treasure. Now, we got a fly guy and an elipus. Here we go. There we go. what I get? Iron armor. Definitely need some of those. Nope, not that way. Derp, derp. There's a lugworm and a vampire bat who's not confused. Let's take out the lugworm first anyway. Because I know I can take them out in one shot. Vampire bats too, pretty much. Just, you never know. Okay. Right. Whoa! Okay. Two fly guys. And you die. What I get? Leather shield. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna have to hit that. I think that drains everything. Empire bat and an Illipus. Oh, dodged it. Critical! Mm -mm -mm. Looks like I've reached level 9. Hit points up by 6. Strength 2, Agility 2, Resilience 1, Wisdom 1, Luck 1. And I got myself a Dancer's Costume. Oh, that's probably worth a good amount. Let's see what that's worth. Since I can... What's in the bag? Janie Mac, what would me mom say? I never saw anything so titillating. It won't do much to protect you in attack, but folk pay, pay a fair price for gear like this. Of course, it'd be no good for a big fella like me. I couldn't wear it. But I got made myself one if they were selling at the right price, like... I mean, for herself at home, of course, not for me. No, I'm no cross-dresser, not at all, not at all. Well, he didn't say what it was worth. Oh, well. I, I'm pretty sure you get a good price for this. So we'll drain out the water here. And that also drains it into the lower floor, so we can move around on the lower floor with a raft. But first, let's get all this crap. Alright. 760 gold coins. So Vampire Bat and Elipus. And they don't notice me. Let's just take the bat out quickly then. Oh, see? No. Oh, well. Okay. Antidotal herb. Where's my phone? Oh, my phone is in my pocket. Let me pull it out and see what that's all about. Oh, that looks like Facebook. Let me just make sure it's not something important. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she finally replied. Okay, that was like yesterday I posted that shit. Okay, I got a chimera wing there, too. Anything I want to do over here? Oh, yep. A spidey punk and a vampire bat. See, I'm not really in much danger here because I'm well over leveled at this point. Leather shield. Got a medicinal herb. Anything over here? Oh, I can't get over there anymore. Oh, I can! I just gotta go up this way. So, Splatted Pumpkin and Elipus. They don't see me yet, or still. They, they, it's not that you say. It's the same basic thing. They, they don't see you, or they're too stunned to move. Either way, it's just a free, a free round. I thought I saw something over there. I thought I thought I put it that. Has a nice looking iron lance, which we'll hang on to. Hello, pussies. Hello, pussy. What'd I get? Dancer's costume. Oh, he's just collecting them at this point. It's starting to get a little creepy. It's alone, just saying. Lugworms! I don't know Taloon's his last name, I'm just thinking back in the NES version, he was just called Taloon. He also had two of his own games on, uh... Well, one was Super Famicom, the other was, um... PlayStation. The PlayStation one was even released here. It's a Holy Lance. I don't think that's better than what I have, but I'm gonna check it. He might 
Actually, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even use... Yeah, he doesn't use that. Something that would be good for Krista. Not Krista. Carol! One of the few characters that have a hard time remembering the new name. Like, Boria was called Bray, but I never call him Bray. You know? I think I need... Let's go up first. I just want to check. I think I need to go down, but I just want to... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right, cool. Let's to get out if you need to. That's where I want to go. Uh, I believe I need to go this way. Vampire bat and a fly guy. No big deal. Oh, another suit of iron armor. I only need six of those, so I have to just keep an eye on how many I have eventually. That's a steel broadsword. I do need six of those as well. That's the first one I've run into. A fly guy and an elipus. Elipus. Iron armor. I probably have enough of those. Let me see. One. Two, three. Let's see. Four, five, five. I need one more. Okay. <laughs> a ton of water was after pouring on me head just now. I nearly drowned, so I did. But there's a silver line, and at least now I can get to the get at my treasure. <laughs> I'll be making tracks then. Only, how am I supposed to be getting out of here now? Yeah, well, you don't have a raft, so I'm just gonna take the treasure. That's empty. They might both be empty, cause yeah, he took them. It's all right. You can have it, dude. What we can have is my raft. That's what we came here for. All right, the silver goddess statue. Do do do. Well, we will we will bring that back to um, to Endor, or was it Bellymore? It was Endor. Okay, an Elipus and a fly guy. And that guy will give us quite a bit of money for that. It's the last iron armor I'll need. Just check and see what's down this way. Fly guys! I don't think there's anything down there, but I want to check. So I'm making a creepy noise every time they attack. That'd be irritating. Yeah, it's just... Alright. Never mind that, then. Might be Elipus and a Lugworm. Okay. Iron Armor. I just heard Facebook do something. But... Is that who I think it is? Oh, yes it is. That's the person that just finally responded to my thing. I just posted this old thing from the past there. Um, oh, wait, there's an easy way to get out of here, and I'm taking the long, stupid way. That's okay. Little fights get you more money and experience, and I'm going to need broadswords, so hopefully I'll learn some. i got to learn some, get some. All right, so Tornico's reached level 10. Hit points up by 7. Strength 3, Agility 2, Resilience 1, Wisdom 1, Luck 1. I'm, I'm doing this the, the dumb way. No, 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 no. Come on now. No biggie. Splatty punks! Two of them! No, it's, it's there. Yeah, that gets you out of here. Ouch. Alright, two splatty punks again. And by the way, if you do have to grind up to get, um, like, you know, swords or armor or whatever, for that quest that's coming later, it the, the cave is the best place because they drop a lot of them there. Alright, but let's, uh, let's go buy, uh, well, let's see, how much money do I have? 
Oh yeah, all right, let's go sell off the uh, statue. That's the first thing. I'm not gonna have enough right away, but it goes a long way towards it. That's, can it really be the silver goddess statue? I'll, I'll pay 20, no, 25,000 gold coins for it. Well then, will you sell it to me? Sure. Wonderful, here you are, now it's mine. I ask what you're going to do with it, buddy. Just look at it. I can't tear my eyes away from it. What a treasure the Statue of the Goddess is. But enough of that. I've heard mention of another great treasure recently called the Zenithian Sword. I'd pay anything for it, anything at all. So if you come across it, don't hesitate to bring it to me. Well, dude, you're not getting that. I got you the statue, but the Zenithian Sword is for the hero, so... He's got to save the world for it. Maybe when he's done with it, he might be willing to part with it. But probably not, to be honest with you. All right, how much do I have? 26, 8, all right. Let me sell off whatever I can. Actually, you know what? Here's a little trick that not a lot of people know. Uh, if you want to sell off stuff, it's actually better to go up to Ballymoral because different uh, shops, kind of like in Breath of Fire 1, different shops give you different rates. And Ballymoral, you actually get a little bit more there. It's the best place to sell stuff off. Of course, now it's nighttime, so I'm just going to stay at the end real quick. I just have to make sure that I'm not selling off my uh, iron broadswords or iron armors. Let me actually move those into the bag that I have. A bit, okay, but if you look at the bag, I have seven of them, so I can sell one of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. All oh, right, he doesn't. He, he's not really open. I gotta go over here. Okay. Um. Or is it the weapon shop? Oh, let me let me just see what he. Six sixty for iron lance. All right, hold on. Let me see what we can get here. I I just want to make sure I'm selling at the best possible place. Eh. Okay. I think it doesn't matter here. Okay. Iron lance. Sell copper sword. They're not worth a whole lot, but I got a bunch of them. Sell copper sword. Sell scale shield. And yeah, let's see. Holy lance for sure. Uh, one of these iron armors. I only need six of them. Iron Lance. Two dancers costumes. Saw them both. It's not bad for some. That doesn't offer any protection, you know? Oh, I got two leather shields, too. Can't sell the broadswords. I need the broadswords, but... Um, Alright, so I'm at 30,986. It's not going to take much longer to get the rest. Let's uh, head back over to Endor. Alright. Well, um, I know the video is not quite 20 minutes. I usually try to go like around 20 minutes. But I am going to stop here. I'll see you guys real soon in the next one. And uh, in between this one and the next one, I'm going to get the money that I need. So I'll see you guys then.